Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna take a look at the Roserade in the current Spring Cup. Spring Cup is definitely a meta that's kinda around those Feral Thorns, those water type Pokemon, as well as something like uh, uh, what's called like Trevenant. And uh, those Pokemon all don't really want to face off against a Roserade. Roserade is very squishy though, so it's going to be a little bit tricky. But here we go to see already we can go ahead and go for the big Lee Storm, getting it both shields from the opponent Shellas and also, what we're going to run here today is going to be Ice Beam on our Quillfish. I already made a video about a Quillfish team where I was like thinking about Ice Beam maybe as a better move compared to Sludge Wave. To be fair, I don't think the difference is that big. Sometimes I wish I had Sludge Wave in matchups against, for example, a Lantern, because otherwise now Lantern is going to war you, or like also in mirror matchups and stuff like this it would help out quite a bit. But um, I actually really enjoyed having the charge move um, Ice Beam quite a bit as well in some certain matchups. For example, Traveler and things, okay, this cannot be a Sludge Wave yet. Sludge Wave needs like two more fast moves or something. Um, so they basically no shield and then they get hit by an Ice Beam, which does enough damage to one shot them. So it was quite some fun. Next upon here, we're going to see Tentacruel. Tentacruel in the lead will be something that is a little bit more awkward to play around. I usually just build up to a Leaf Storm and then swap out, trying to catch some energy here on our um, Quillfish, hoping that they're going to swap out. And they're going to swap into a Trevenant here. We can go for the Ice Beam. Do they know about it? Let's take a look at this one. Do they know that we have the Ice Beam stored? We do see the shield coming up here, but we're going to still get to an Awkward Tail, which is really important because this will allow us to put them into range, I think, for one Weather Ball, which should knock them out now. So Quillfish did its job, got a shield, got them low enough that we can one-shot them and now even if they want to come back in with their um tentacruel i will be able to align my lantern now expect them to have a ferrothon not a ferrothon not a ferrothon maybe a ferrothon in the back actually a ferrothon in the back no it's a tropius in the back so this is going to be an interesting matchup here right now we're going to be able to go for a thunderbolt but of course we're going to be double debuffed here with our lantern don't we want to give up um, our lantern yet, as it's also going to be a best answer for the Pokemon that they have in the bag. But actually, I can shield up the move from the opponent here, Leaf Blade coming through, and I try to get the next move, didn't work out or whatsoever, but I will be able to now shield up the move again. Leaf Blade coming through, I can swap out, and I can farm them all the way down now. In comes the Tentacruel, and we're just going to go straight for the new Kia. Leaf Storm is coming through, and it's going to one-shot the opponent, even though they had still a shield left, they just didn't want to use it. I think they knew that we would get to the Thunderbolt anyway in time so that's fine amazing lead fast here with the lantern it's still actually kind of iffy because the opponent going to be able to go for one thunderbolt with just around 50 percent of our health which is kind of wild because it's resisted but we're still very squishy we're going to be able to go for one leaf storm here going to get the debuff most likely from that but they're going to shield this move up as well i can catch the next charge move onto my own lantern which might have been a mistake because now they can go ahead and go into the grass type in the bag, which is going to be the Trevenant here. I thought they would go for the Thunderbolt again, that's why I went to my own one, so I don't have to shield at all. But like this, we're going to put them into range again for one Weather Ball, which is going to be decent. Still, they're going to have a ton of energy now, they're going to be able to go for another charge move as well. And this uh, now Surf coming through here, it's going to do not enough damage to put them into a range where I can really knock them out with it. But I can go ahead, go straight for the Weather Ball here, knock them out, have a shield advantage, but they're going to have switch advantage. And they go into their own Ros Roserade here, which was my mistake to not swap out here. If I swapped out, I definitely had a way better chance of winning this game because I would have been able to um, just go for my charge move, still have my Roserade in the back. And even if they're going to be able to go into the Lantern later on, I would be able to maybe farm down with that as spark doesn't do as much damage as the fast move of roserade itself so this was definitely a mistake there that i could have avoided and maybe even won that game if i played it a little bit better next opponent we're going to see a tentacruel in the lead that's going to be again horrible for us we're going to farm up around to one leaf storm a little bit earlier i'm going to swap out here already to go into my quillfish this quillfish will be able to tank the incoming scald as we now see the trevenant coming in against us ice beam coming through that's going to hopefully one shot them and it does goodbye there they didn't expect it whatsoever we will be able to go ahead and go for another charge move here against the opponent's tentacruel as well gonna put them lower as we can go ahead and go for two actual um awkward tails against them as they know already of course that they don't really have to shield here we still gonna put them into spark down range now with those extra damage which is going to be very good for us sludge ref coming through here going to be not ideal but we're going to see the obama snow coming in Sadly, um, as a weather ball is coming through here, we're going to see a little bit of a difficult matchup for us. We can go for another weather ball that's going to do some decent damage here. 
but it's going to be still a tough one. We have to go for one Thunderbolt in order to hopefully knock them out, but I don't think it does enough damage. They're going to go ahead and go for their own Weather Ball right now, which is going to make this all a little bit more tough as they now have still enough energy to go for one energy ball here. It's going to be such a close matchup. We're going to see the energy ball coming through. They're going to go ahead and go now into their tentacruel. They sadly just barely get to the move in time here. But it's a scald and we're going to be able to survive it. I actually made a mistake here by not going for the surf straight away. Because surf definitely would have knocked them out as well. But I just want to make it a little bit more cooler, I guess, because I can use it in a short. <laughs> the next team here, we're going to see a Trevenant in the lead. There's going to be a swap immediately into the Tentacruel. Interesting that I swapped at this point of time, because usually that's why I went straight for the Weather Ball, by the way. Um, people would want to swap at six fast moves of mine because um, they know that, like most people know at this range, of course, that you need seven fast moves to get to one Shadow Ball with the opponent's um, Trevenant. So farming six would be the best in terms of the energy that you're going to be able to gain from that. So interesting play by my opponent to swap immediately. It worked out pretty well for them. But because they did it just now, I will know that they're going to try to do exactly the same thing for the next one as well. So I'm not going to throw here. I'm going to save my shield, uh, or my energy here in general, and you're going to see the Quillfish coming through here, which is going to be interesting. As we're going to shield immediately the Sludge Wave coming through, we will be able to go for the Aqua Tail here, and it's going to do some pretty decent damage. But of course, we still have our move stored onto our Roserade, which is going to be very, very helpful later on, which they couldn't catch here. But I will be able to just spam them with the Aqua Tail. Of course, we don't have Sludge Wave, so we have to go for the Aqua Tail spam. I can let this move go through and I have to let this move go through here. Sludge Wave comes through and I'm going to swap out into my Roserade. Gonna go for the charge move here as this is going to be a CMP tie. They're going to shield this move up which is amazing for us and I'm going to predict that they're going to swap immediately. They have energy on the Trevenant and I'm going to be able to actually predict it correctly. Get the move off and going to knock them out here straight away. This was risky if they stayed in with their Quillfish and let me farm them down. Of course they would have been able to win this game with that. But because I predicted that they would swap, I was able to win this one. Next opponent, a very nice seed for us. Pelipper coming in here now, which is going to be pretty decent for us as well as we're going to be able to align our lantern against them. Issue is here, I expect them to have another flyer and yeah, in general, another flyer in the back, which most likely going to be the Mantine. Very decent team with the Mantine. We will be able to see here now the Ferrothon coming back in and another issue is right now as well. We're going to get into a range where they can farm us all the way down without really any issues for them. Which means that we're going to have a little bit of a tough time here now because they're going to get up to one hand energy which is going to be a little bit annoying. We can get ahead and go for a ton of um, Thunderbolts at least. We're going to get them very very low with that. But um, I'm kind of forced to shield here because the flash cannon would just knock, knock me out. They have a mirror shot and as I expected, they're going to have the mantan in the back. And this is not going to be the best matchup for us right now. We can go for the weather ball, gonna get the shield because they expect me to go for the leaf storm of course. And I will be able to swap into my um, quillfish. Usually you would expect that you're going to be able to survive all the charge moves pretty easily here. As they usually run bubble beam and ice beam. But this opponent, which is also currently the best play in this meta right now, this is not really surprising, is running Aerial Ace. Aerial Ace gives you a bit of, a bit of a better charge moves here to do some damage against those um, more squishy grass type Pokemon, especially, but also against something like a Tentacruel. My opponent going to catch the move here onto their Ferrothorn. They had enough energy anyway, so I had to go for my charge move immediately. I predicted them to swap out there, so that's why I went for the Weather Ball against the Mantan, even though they didn't have shields there anymore. But um, didn't really help me out that much and we're going to lose this game. Next opponent brought some kind of cool spice here. We're going to see. I think this is a fully XL Ducklet. Honestly, that's kind of funny. Like, Because like those I like the OCP there is something that you don't really get to otherwise. It's a full CP, a fully XL Ducklet here, I think, which is kind of funny as a shadow Pokemon as I can just farm them down. They clearly are they're already legends, so they clearly, clearly don't really care too much. I just want to lose some ELO here. Would you gladly take as we can go ahead and go for a Thunderbolt? We can go for another Thunderbolt here. Also, the um, Rybombi here, not really the best Pokemon, of course. We can farm down with the Rosa raid, and now they're going to have nine hits in the back, which has access to the fast move feint attack. They're clearly kind of taking a piss here out of the matchup because it literally doesn't make any sense at all, but I kind of appreciate it. It's kind of funny to see. Next opponent, horrific lead for us. We have to swap out immediately. We see the Venus are coming in. I expect them to not think that we're going to have Ice Beam here, so I'm going to go ahead and go for the, that straight away. They sadly call that one. Very great call by the opponent. Um, it makes it really awkward for us now. We're going to generate energy faster than my opponent. I'm just going to go straight for the next Ice Beam as well. But as you're going to see now, they're going to be able to farm us all the way down now. If I get one bait off, I would have been so much better off. 
But like this, it's going to be a really tough one to come back from. I have to go into my Roserade. I have to shield this move up. There's no array really around it. And they're going to go ahead and go into the Kingdra. In hindsight, if I knew what they had in the back, I would have stopped out of here. I didn't know what they had in the back. But they were actually very, very weak towards like Roserade, which is kind of sad to see because as you can see here, they had an Obama Snow. I was very close to even get to the next charge move, but like this, I'm going to forfeit there as well, as there was nothing that I could have done there. But I guess I, there was something I could have done there if I swapped out into my Lantern against the opponent's King Drop. But I want to leave some them. So I guess that's fine. Next opponent, we're going to see their Weezing in the lead. You're going to be able to win against the Weezing usually here. Um, but I'm going to swap out as well as we're going to have an ABP line. We kind of want to get out our water type boys. As they're going to be able to go ahead and go for another charge move here. Forcing the shield from the opponent. This is the cool thing about Quillfish. You're going to always need only four fast moves to get to the charge move here. Which is going to be amazing for us. As they're going to actually over from a little bit there for whatever reason. It's going to be a CMP tie. They're going to let this move go through. And I'm going to be able to now go ahead and go for the base here bait that i have such wave onto my pokemon which i don't have of course for the lantern i'm just gonna go up and go now for the ice beam so i can reveal my final moveset because it doesn't matter so we're gonna go down afterwards anyway we're gonna put them pretty low issue is here they're going to be able to go for thunderbolt and you saw already earlier this doing uh, is doing a lot of damage we're going to see the opponent coming in here with i think it's a more wire which is fine for us because we can go into our lantern and they're going to forfeit so that's going to be a good game here next opponent let's take a look what they're going to bring we're going to see here the Roserade against a Jellicent again. We can do the same play as we did before, but they're going to swap out immediately into the um, Obama Snow, which is a little bit tricky for me to play with. I can go ahead and go for my own Water Ball. I can try to farm them all the way down. I don't know if that's going to work. They have one extra, so they, I need three more fast moves to farm them down. Sadly, of course, they're going to be able to survive on our exactly one HP, which is a really bad for us, because like this, we are forced to swap into our Quillfish, and now our Quillfish is aligned against the Jellison, which is the worst possible matchup that I would have. So, really unfortunate that they had perfect DIVs there to survive with exactly one HP, which is really annoying, but... So is the game. I can go ahead and go for the awkward tail spam here, but this will not really change anything by the result here that the opponent is going to be able to farm me all the way down and get out of this matchup with a ton of energy. We can still go ahead and go for an awkward tail here, doing some decent damage. Can go for another one here immediately after, which is going to do also some decent damage. But again, we're gonna put them into a range where I cannot really do too much against it. I can go into my lantern, I will be able to take one shadow ball here real quick. But they're going to swap out now into their shift. It seems to be a little bit of a tough one, especially as I get the fast move through from the opponent, which is going to hurt me quite a bit. But Rosary just doesn't care, and with a few HP left, we're going to be able to get to the last Weather Ball to knock them out and win this game. Good game there. Next opponent, Sherlock against us. Is, are they as smart as Sherlock Holmes? Let's take a look at this one. We're going to see a Tentacruel coming in. It's going to be very good for us because Tentacruel is the matchup where we have to get our Lantern on. We don't really even care if we'll... I mean, okay, we can care if we lose Switch, which can happen here because of the Acid Spray debuff. Can be kind of crucial. We go for the Thunderbolt. They're going to shield this move up, which is kind of wild. I can let this next move go through as well. But I'm going to shield up the Squall coming in, and I can go ahead and go for another charge move here. Going for the Thunderbolt, you're going to force another shield from the opponent if they want to keep the alignment, and they're going to try to do this. I'm going to let this move go through here. Still have a Surf stored. That's going to not knock me out here. I can go for the Surf, and I hopefully put them into a range where I can do some pretty decent stuff with my Quillfish here. Let's see what Quillfish can do. We will be able to just go ahead and go for a nearly a full farm down. They go ahead, go for the Scald, do some decent damage, and they can swap now into my Roserade. If they have something in the back that I can deal with, I should be fine. They're going to have a Mawile here. What we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and go for one charge move. Because it's not the Shadow 1, we're going to be able to go for another one. I think the Shadow 1 would have went down to like one fast, like one charge move with a few fast moves anyway. So it's not really the biggest deal. And because Bullet Seed is literally one of the worst fast moves in the game. They are, of course, for energy generation, it's pretty decent. But otherwise, it's pretty bad. Um, you're going to be able to just go ahead and go for the Ice Beam here in order to knock off the opponent. And we're going to be able to knock them out. Yeah, good game there. Next opponent. Let's take a look at this. They're a it. There's going to be a very neutral one. They do neutral damage against us. We're going to be able to go for the Leaf Storm theoretically. But I kind of want to go into my Quillfish just to bait out the potential um, Ferrothon in the back there. We're going to be able to do some decent damage here. Ice Beam coming through. We're going to do some... Nice one there. We can go ahead and shield up the move from the opponent theoretically, but we're going to let this one go through this time around. 
They still gonna get to another one, which means they're going to have access to the move Mirror Shot, which does not really do that much damage. I can align my Rosal right here, I can overfarm quite a bit and go for my own Weather Ball here. In order to knock out the opponent, which will do enough damage here for sure. In comes the um, Arachronid, which we're going to shield up now. That's going to be a bug bus, and because we don't really want to deal with it too much, I'm gonna go for the bait first. This is going to get, hopefully, the shield from the opponent, and it does, because they're fearing the um, Leaf Storm, and they can swap out now into my Lantern. Them staying in here like this kind of tells me already what they're going to have in the back, which is most likely going to be a Pelipper at this point of time. Because otherwise there was no reason for them to stay in here. They're even going to shield up the move here, but honestly, I kind of want to have some fun here. And fun is all that I really care about, so I'm just going to knock them out here. They're going to have most likely a great time with the Pelipper in order to knock me out. But what we can try to do, it's actually a mantle, it's not even Pelipper. I can go ahead and let this move go through, even though we're on Thunderbolt, because we're going to have a lot of fun here today. We're going to have our Roserade and Roserade. It just doesn't care. Leaf Storm coming through, or a normal move there, going to completely one-shot them. That's exactly what we wanted to see. It's also going to be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day. On the right side, you're going to see the top team video for this um, meta right now. And on the left side, you see my la latest video. So stay tuned for more content. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.